and welcome back to Tom's Hit Parade. First of all, I hope you enjoyed my newly remixed intro music, uh, now featuring Noah himself from SMEB Reviews on vocals, and my brother as special guest percussionist, and with his nail gun, you know, with a roofing project that's uh, about 45 minutes work away from being totally done. So yeah, very happy to see the, essentially see the end of that project. But uh, anyway, yeah, Noah did such a great job with his uh, his little intro, imitation of my intro on his uh, uh, mystery grab bag video uh, a couple weeks ago that I just, I had to include his vocals uh, with his permission, of course, in my uh, intro music. So uh, yeah, I, I got a huge kick out of that and I'm sure he did too. And hopefully, Noah, you got a, as just as big a kick out of hearing the fully uh, final mi remix of it that you haven't heard until now. So anyway, uh, yes, today I am presenting my monthly bargain bag feature. Yes, that is my monthly treasure hunt for buried audio treasure in the form of two mystery CD grab bags from Skips Records and CD World, which I open up here live on camera. I uh, guess these are probably going to be the last two grab bags that I will be opening while Skips is open. Uh, yeah, he's uh, projecting that he will be open until uh, mid to late August. So today is August 4th, 5th, something like that. It was actually, it was uh, one month ago that he started his going out of business sale. So yeah, discounts up to 40% now. So I've been finding some pretty good stuff. I'll, I'll probably do a second uh, Skip's final shopping spree video like I did uh, a couple weeks ago, uh, just as the store finally closes. Because I've, I've managed to snag a couple of um, st things from the store, you know, actual store stuff that I'm very happy to show you. I don't have them yet. I'll have them when the store closes, so anyway. But anyway, yes, as I said, this is Bargain Bag Month. Uh, before I open the new bags, of course, I will show you what I found in last month's bags. And as usual, if you want any of these CDs that I'm casting off, if any of them sound interesting to you, or if you know if you know about any of them and you want them, you know you already know what they are and you want them, just go ahead and let me know in either in the comments below or in a direct message on Twitter. My Twitter link is in the description. Uh, I usually keep these CDs for about two weeks after the upload date of this video, so check right down here. You'll see the upload date. If two weeks have passed, I've probably gotten rid of these CDs, but just in case I haven't, go ahead and ask. Anyway, first of all, uh, yeah, Handel's Messiah. We all know what that is. If you don't know what Handel's Messiah is, look it up. Please. Uh, it's like, what are you doing, a music fan watching this channel, if you don't know what Handel's Messiah is? I mean, come on. And then we have uh, Trent Monk, Stars Would Fall. This is, that's the name of the album. This is contemporary Christian music. Yeah, pretty much if you've been watching me long enough, you know how I feel about contemporary Christian music. Just, yeah. And uh, Mariah is another one. Uh, and this also, uh, it, it sounded okay until I found out that these guys also are contemporary Christian. So they kind of lost me on that. You know, I mean, they, they sound okay enough. I know there's a, uh, a viewer that uh, commented last month when I opened the bags with this in it, and he, he said he's familiar with Mariah. Uh, yep, yeah, sounded okay to me, but yeah. Uh, with the Christian lyrics, I mean, you know, they're probably not the praise and worship level of Christian, but they're still Christian. I you know, as I've mentioned before, I listen to a lot of music, so something really has to grab me with its uniqueness for me to really be interested in it. And sorry to say, you know, no fault on Mariah's part. They just, you know, fell a little bit short on that category. But I've got to say, I absolutely love the cover image. I love the color palette and just the just the look of it. I mean, I, I just think it's gorgeous. That's one thing I didn't realize until I was watching, you know, and editing the video last month, how beautiful the cover art is. But yeah. Gorgeous cover art, the music just didn't really tickle my fancy, you know. And then we have a Brit pop group, Athlete, with which I was hmm, vaguely familiar. And yeah, I Brit pop again is one of those subgenres that I really have to, uh, you know, some, it really has to grab me uh, to for me to really like it. I've never gotten into Oasis or Blur or any of those guys, so yeah. But uh, hey, not bad, Athlete. And this is uh, Beyond the Neighborhood is the name of the album. So if you want it, as I said, ask away. I won't even make you pay for postage. Seriously. Uh, and Toad the Wet Sprocket, uh, they, uh, their single for Fall Down. And I've, I'm passively familiar with these guys also with their singles. And uh, this is actually making me want to dip into them a little bit more again. I'd forgotten how good their singles were. So yeah, good stuff. I, I may actually hang on to this. I'm not sure. 
and then we have a band called Fret Blanket. Uh, grunge, basically. Uh, but for me, it was they were just way too much like Pearl Jam and Nirvana. You know, just, again, okay at what they do, just nothing special for me. Uh, and uh, Junk Fuel was the name of Fret Blanket's album. In case you want to look it up yourself. And then a, uh, a German industrialish rock band uh, called Pankow. And the name of this album is Gisela. Not bad, you know, uh, German industrial rock is just not my thing. I've, yeah. Music with lyrics sung in German, I've just never been able to glom onto. Now, Portuguese is another, another story entirely. That's the language other than English that I probably enjoy the most in song. Uh, but but that's not on topic, but anyway. Uh, well, sort of not on topic, but yeah. Um, Rammstein is, well, I guess Rammstein is more metal than they are industrial rock, but that's, you know, since they sing in German, that's the only real thing I could possibly compare them to. Again, you know, I'm not really well versed in German music, so. And then Bajwana T, Take a Sip is the name of the album. Uh, acoustic, folkish rock basically, and they were, I think they're actually a local band in the uh, Eugene, Oregon area, possibly. I can't remember. Anyway, yeah, didn't do much for me. I got sad to say, sorry to say. And then Archer Avenue, another uh, indie rock thing. Uh, yeah, again, yeah. as with a lot of these bargain bags, most of it is just didn't really grab me. What can I say? And then a new AG flute player, uh, Nicholas Gunn, and I, I guess he's an actor too. I looked him up, and apparently he's an actor as well. So, but yeah, this you know, New Age. I actually did get into New Age way back in the beginning of when I really started getting into music. Uh, you know, when I was when I was out of my teens. Uh, and but flute is something that I've never really you know flute. I really have to uh, like. But uh, yeah, what can I say? Zamfir. If you like Zamfir, hey. This is right up your alley. Um, sorry, nothing against Zamfir, but you know, he prob Zamfir probably gets an unfair reputation. Okay, I'll admit. Uh, but anyway, enough enough picking on Zamfir and other New Age flutists, or would that be flautists? I don't know. Hey, flout it if you got it. Anyway, <laughs> sorry, I couldn't resist. Bad, bad joke. Uh, okay, then we have uh, the Olam Alves Funk Band. This was uh, one of the keepers. Actually, actually, there's four keepers in this band bunch. Uh, the, the most I've had yet. Yeah, the Olam Alves Funk Band. Funky jazz kind of stuff. Uh, I, I kind of like the sound of it, and I'm probably going to hold on to this. I'm going to give it at least a couple more listens. Uh, but yeah, cool stuff. I like that. And then we have a, uh, a CD that really kind of caught me by surprise as to, as to what it was. Moan is the name of the band and the debut. So I assume it's their debut album. <laughs> clever name for it if it is but yeah this these guys are uh, electro rock kind of stuff uh, not quite synth wave but kind of close to it but yeah it was a very very pleasant surprise I really enjoyed this stuff um, so yeah I'm gonna uh, this is another one I'm gonna keep on uh, hang on to and give it a few more listens and yeah I anticipate maybe it'll grow on me a little bit more so and then we have a group called submarine uh, the album is called skin diving and uh, it's very cool stuff. It's uh, kind of trip hopish. That's what I have on my little note on the back here, my cheat sheet note. Uh, this is, as far as I can tell, this is their only album. Uh, I, I think there was another group called Submarine, the which who had a few albums, but they're not these guys. Uh, but yeah, uh, as, as I said, I think I said already, uh, kind of uh, got a little bit of a trip hop element to them. So yeah, cool kind of chillish stuff. So yeah. I will definitely be giving that a few more listens. And then the last one, which is pretty much the highlight for me, as, uh, as odd as it may sound, it's a group called Real McCoy, which is a lot like Ace of Bass, you know, kind of that, that early 90s dance pop kind of stuff. They sounded a little bit cheesy in a couple of songs, but they very, very quickly grew on me. And uh, as you might be able to see on this note here, it says, I will look for their first album. I found their first album at Skips. Actually, in the uh, Skips video, the Ode to Skips video I did uh, last week or the week before, I think I showed this to you. Yeah, I found it on, on the bargain wall, which is even better. So, uh, so I actually have not listened to this yet. As, as much as I like this one, I have not listened to this one yet. So I'm a little behind on music, what can I say? But yeah, I really, really enjoyed these guys. This was, this was the highlight of this uh, pair of bargain bags. So yeah, 
a lot of fun stuff. Uh, as I said, more keepers than uh, in any other pair of bargain bags since then. So yeah. Okay, and now let's get on with the main attraction, uh, part one of the main attraction, opening my latest bargain bag, one of two. And yeah, tearing them open by hand was a little, uh, little messy, so I decided to uh, get the good old scissors. Let's put these open like that. I'll clean that up later. And here we go with this first set of bargain bags. I try not to peek inside here, you know. It's really tempting sometimes. Okay, let's give it a try here. How's this? Shade Scheist. Uh, informal introduction. Hmm. He's looking uh, looking like a hip-hop, or yeah, a hip-hop artist. Yeah, edited version, which, I don't know, as, as unsavory as profanity is in music, you know, I, I don't hate it out and out, but uh, I don't like edited versions of CDs. You know, it's it's... it's not what the artist intended, and you know, honestly, yeah, I don't believe in censorship like that. But hey, what can I say, right? Actually, I'm not sure what I'm trying to say, but anyway, on to the second CD in here Brazen, the original soundtrack. Yeah. I'm not familiar with this movie, so yeah, I will go over the uh, track listing in detail. I'll look it over later so as not to bore you in this video, but. Uh, Hmm. Yeah. Uh, at first glance, I'm not recognizing any of the artist names here, but uh, I guess I'm going to have to look up the this movie if if it is a movie, TV show. I don't know. Brazen. Next we have oh another hip hop apparently. Uh, Dougie D. Do you want to ride? That's the name of the album. Oh, track ten is "She's All That" plus a bag of chips. That'll be. I'm not a huge fan of hip hop, you know, as I've said before, but hey, it won't hurt me to try listening to anything, right? Then we have, oh, this must be the hip hop album, or the hip hop uh, bag here. Got yet another one. Uh, Confrontation Camp. Objects in the mirror are closer than they appear. Confrontation Camp is Kyle Ice Jason, Professor Grief, Chuck D. I mean, I, I, I recognize who Chuck D is, obviously, but. Uh, I'm kind of having a feeling most of this bag is going to end up in my cast-offs category, so, uh, yeah. And here's another one that looks like hip-hop. John P. Johnny P., sorry. Look Good is the name of the album. Sorry, I don't have more to say about these guys, but, uh, well. And, uh, Soma is the name of this artist. Sleepy Little Home. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure what to think of this one, so, yeah. Be interesting to check it out. And the final, the final CD in this grab bag, we have 12 gauge. Let me ride again. And yeah, looks like yet another hip hop album. So yeah. I guess I have a lot of hip hop listening in, in my near future, wouldn't you say? Well, just like that, that is the first of the two uh, CD grab bags that I'll be opening today. And uh, now here at this point in the bargain bag video is where I usually talk about a CD that I found that I enjoy as one of my favorites that I found or that you are likely to find in the bargain bin section of a fine music retailer near you. Uh, but I'm putting a little twist on the format this time, and today I'm going to be talking about a DVD. Yes, this is actually a scripted comedy movie. Uh, yeah, not even a music documentary, although this, you know, since uh, this is a music-related channel, this video is going to have something about something to do with music, and uh, in this case, it is a scripted comedy movie, as I said, and it is called American Dreams. Now, this is one of my favorites, and as I said, you are likely to find this in the Bargain Bin DVD section, and if you do, don't pass it up. If you like, uh, if you like American Idol, uh, this is a satire uh, without giving away too much of the plot, this is a satire of politics and pop culture and kind of how they dovetail. It's a commentary basically on how they kind of dovetail, especially in the good old US of A here. Uh, yeah, we we seem to have a very strange connection, uh, you know, between politics and pop culture. They seem to meld together like they really shouldn't. But uh, anyway, yeah, this is just, it's a funny movie. It's great. I've watched it half a dozen times at least, and I love it. And since it's, you know, since I found it in the bargain bin section and, uh, you know, it's for that reason, 
in part. Uh, you would not expect much from a movie like this, but when you think about the cat, look at the cast of this movie. Dennis Quaid, Hugh Grant, and uh, Willem Dafoe, amongst others. And uh, yes, yeah, so the cast in this movie is great. And basically what it is, is without giving away too much of the plot again, Dennis Quaid plays President Joseph Staten, uh, newly re-elected to a second term as president. And he's basically a thinly veiled caricature of George W. Bush. And he is he is great in this role. I mean, in my opinion, this is one of my favorite roles of his, honestly, uh, in, as strange as it may sound in an obscure movie like this. But he does a great job in this role. And uh, but yeah, as, right after he's reelected to office, he's you know he starts losing confidence. He he holes up in his bedroom in the White House, not wanting to go out into public or do any press conferences or anything for for weeks after his reelection. And then uh, kind of on the other side of uh, the story here, we have Hugh Grant, who plays a gentleman named Martin Tweed, who is basically a thinly veiled caricature of Simon Cowell, the smarmy, self-aggrandizing host of a reality TV singing competition. Uh, very much like American Idol. But just so you know, this uh, is not mean-spirited toward American Idol. It is it is kind of mean-spirited toward American politics. But uh, yeah, if you love American Idol, you're going to love this movie. It does not bash American Idol at all. But uh, yeah, and um, Mandy Moore here in the middle, she plays basically a Kelly, Clark Kelly Clarkson type. You know, a little mid small town mid Midwestern girl who wants to be a, a famous singer. And uh, yes, yeah, she joins the competition, and also uh, in something that kind of feels left out of left field, but everything comes together in the movie, so don't worry. One of the complaints about this movie actually was, uh, in initial reviews, was that there were too many characters and too many subplots. But honestly, that's not the case. It, I don't know if it's just because I've watched it several times already, but uh, everything, you know, all the characters and all the subplots do come together in the end of the movie, so... You know, don't worry. Uh, you might need to watch it more than one more than once. Uh, I did just because it was so entertaining. But anyway, to get back on topic here, uh, we have a Middle Easterner who uh, is trying trying his best to be a member of an Al Qaeda type terrorist group, but he's a bumbling klutz and he is sent by his cousin to America to to ostensibly await further instructions in a sleeper cell. But he has no intention of uh, you know ever. Uh, activating him because he's just such a such an incompetent but he has dreams of being a broadway singer and so long story short he eventually becomes a contestant also on american dreams and uh the president as i mentioned before president staten uh his uh, approval ratings are really tanking so his chief of staff who is played by willem dafoe in an, another brilliant performance in this movie i love willem dafoe uh, he comes up with the idea of, in order to boost President Satan's popularity, uh, having him sign on as a guest judge for the season finale of American Dreams. Now, I won't tell you uh, anything more as to so as to possibly spoil the plot. And, by the way, if you don't want to know the entire plot, do not go to this movie's Wikipedia page. It spells out the whole plot. So, But, you know, suffice to say, as if you couldn't tell by now, I love this movie. It's just hilarious. It's funny. And it's a pretty darn brilliant satire. It's got a couple of mm, surreal, absurdist moments. But then, I mean, the whole movie, in a way, is kind of absurdist. Not distractingly so, but it's just, you know, it, it's kind of, it has its own verisimilitude. Uh, look up that word if you don't know what it means. But uh, honestly, as I've said several times here now, I love this movie, American Dreams. I recommend it as a music fan and as a fan of satires and comedies in general. Stream it, buy the DVD, watch it somewhere. Uh, I recommend it. But anyway, uh, as I'm now babbling, it's time to go on to the second of two mystery CD grab bags. Let's scissor, or would that be sizz, open these bags. The bag is open. Let's check out what's in here. Hopefully not a whole lot more hip-hop. I've had enough hip-hop. Oh. PM Dawn, a CD single by PM Dawn. I'm vaguely familiar with them. Uh, I like. I can't remember what their big single was called. Uh, oh. Adrift on Memory Bliss or something like that. And that was a pretty cool song, so I am not afraid at all to try out more of these guys. Uh, yeah, interesting. And then we have My Regret is the name of the group, I guess. Oh, My Regrets, sorry. It's All Right to Look Good is the name of the CD. So these guys look like they might be kind of interesting. And then we have 
George Yount's, I believe, and Contemporary Christian, I'm pretty sure. Set Me on the Rock, Joshua. It's Bound to Be the Lord. Yes, yes, it's bound to be contemporary Christian music. Or maybe not contemporary Christian, which is even a little more frightening. I'm sorry, I don't mean to bash Christian music, honestly. Uh, oh, Country Gold, Volume 6. Yeah. One of the uh, budget comp uh, compilations. Ernest Tubb and Willie Nelson. Gene Shepard. I guess I didn't realize he sang. He's the guy that was responsible for writing A Christmas Story and some other stuff. Uh, Waylon Jennings, Patsy Cline, Johnny Paycheck. Worth a listen. Why not? Not afraid to listen to country music. Oh, this is a friend of mine at work is going to enjoy this. She loves these Nature Sound CDs. Pacific Blue 2. Yeah. Whale Song Over Music. Yeah. Hmm. She'll enjoy this. I won't even bother listening to this one. Yeah. It's going straight to her. We have uh, Time and Distance, Gravity. Could be interesting. It's actually still sealed, not even opened yet. I wonder if this might be contemporary Christian also. The label is Saints and Sinners Music. Yeah. I don't want to prematurely judge something. Cortana. No, that's not the voice assistant, assistant for Windows. That's Cortana. This is uh, Cortana. Healing Rain. Probably some singer-songwriter kind of stuff. Relax, sort of laid-back, acoustic stuff, possibly. And then we have Colin Farish, Curious Species. Yes, we are. Curious Species is a hybrid of world music and West Coast jazz. Definitely no harm in listening to that. So. An interesting pair of bargain bags here. Uh, yeah. I don't have a whole lot of high hopes for this one. Maybe that'll you know offset by the uh, unusually high number of keepers I had in the last month's bargain bag. So, But hey, with as inexpensive as these mystery CD grab bags are to buy, uh, they are so darn much fun to open them. It is worth way more than every penny that I spend on them. Uh, and just uh, in case you're wondering, uh, yes, Skips is closing, but in case you missed my farewell to Skips video last week, or whenever it was, I've got enough uh, mystery CD grab bags to carry me through at least December of 2020, so this bargain bag feature is not going anywhere anytime soon. Uh, I'm just having too darn much fun with it, as I said. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not anticipating having very many keepers out of this pair of bags, but who knows? As I said, you can't really judge a book by its cover, or in this case, a CD by its cover, uh, as, uh, as I found out before uh, many times over the years. and. Uh, I had twice as many keepers in last month's as I, you know, as I usually do. So maybe last month offsets this month, or maybe I'll have a lot of keepers again. So who knows? You can never tell. But anyway, I'm going on and on. Uh, it's time to wrap up this video here. That is it for Bargain Bag for the month of August. And that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I appreciate feedback, whether about this video or anything on my channel or about music in general. I'd love to hear from you in the comment section below. I invite you to subscribe to my channel as well and check out my past videos to see what you might have missed. I'm also on Twitter, and you can find the link to my Twitter feed in the description below, so check it out and follow along. Also, please take the time to visit my friends and fellow YouTubers channels, which are also linked to in the description below. They're great at what they do, and they're very much worth your attention. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time, and remember, life's too short to be a music snob.